Hi, this is Corey with I Go Fitness. Here to talk about four minutes of fun. Some people like to call these Tabatas, but they're not exactly Tabatas, so we're not gonna get into all that. The point is, they're fun, they're fast, and they're very effective. So, what we're gonna show you are four different modalities. We're gonna do body weight, TRX, medicine ball, and uh, TNT cables. And I'm gonna show you four different exercises with each, with each of those modalities that you can do in a circuit to give you a great workout in a short amount of time. So we're gonna do each workout for four minutes, we're going to have 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. That's going to be the ratio for all these exercises. I'm just going to show them to you. I'm not going to go through it all because that video will get pretty long and I'm sure you all don't want to see that. So I'll show you what the exercises look like and you just follow the modality. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, so we'll start with the body weight. First we're going with the squat. We'll get my timer here for about 20 seconds. It's a nice body weight squat. If you want, you can put the hands up. Head. Arms up, go for a little mobility. All right, so we're going 20 seconds there. Next, we're going into a standard push-up. So down, keeping everything nice and tight. Elbows stay back. Pulling yourself down to the ground, exploding up, all right? All right, after our push-up, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. Again, hands can be up, hands can be wherever. We're just reversing the lunge. You know how to step back, so side view, step back, just like that. Again, if you want hands up, that's fine as well. Last but not least, we're gonna do a rotation off, a little T rotation here. So rotate, hips and shoulders rotate together. Go in here. If you want to get fancy, you can throw a push up in there if you like. So that's the body weight circuit. 20 seconds of each exercise. 10 seconds of rest, repeat that. All right, we're coming up next with the TRX. All right, so now we're on to the TRX. We're gonna do burpees with a push-up on one side, some of you call them bodybuilders. Burpees with a push-up with one leg, spin it in the TRX. We're gonna go into a squat in a row, burpee on the other side, and then a nice fun back extension to round it out. So I'm gonna keep this in double handle mode just to make it quick. Put one foot through both of the foot cradles here. You know, down to the ground, leg out, push-up, Back up, and drive through. Down. Push up, drive through. Push up, drive through. Yeah, as you can see, those get kind of fun. We're gonna show that to us. Squat to the One nice motion. Keep the tension in the T-Rex the whole time. Do my 20 seconds. Taking my 10 seconds of rest as I adjust this. So it's not a just and 20 and 10 seconds of rest. It's, that's part of it. So that's included there. All right. So now we're going to be out just a little bit more. Uh, and we'll still stay back on that push up. Keep that nice plank. Stay in perfect line. And sure, if you want to get fancy, you can leave that leg off the ground. Shorten it up again. You can go on demo in 10 seconds is helpful. So now we're going to switch it back. Sit all the way through. Hips, knees, hips. All total body exercises. Again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, coming back with the TNT cables. Now we're back with the TNT cables. We're gonna start with swimmers. These are a nice little total body exercise. Hinging at the hips, keep the arms straight. Push the thumbs to the pockets. Down. Then it comes right to the shoulders. So, uh, 20 seconds. Of course, I can make this tougher by adding more resistance. But uh, the point is, I want to keep everything moving, do as much as I can in the amount of time I got. So I got 10 seconds to rest. I'm just gonna loop this through real quickly. Do about 10 seconds. Tighten that a little bit. Here goes some diagonal shots, actually. You know what? Make it tougher. I'm leave this out. 
challenge myself a little bit more here today. So I'm not going through the whole thing. All right, so we're gonna put these two together, going from the top of the shoulder, down past the knee, turning with the hips. Down, back up. Now it's nice and controlled on the way down, on the way up. I'm not just letting it pull me back, I'm fighting that back up. So core's working, legs are working, glutes. Most importantly, if you get that speed up, the heart rate's getting up there. All right, so we'll take our 10 seconds of rest. Now we're gonna go side to side. Again, the core is gonna get involved. We're getting the whole body involved here. And you can hear our heart rate's moving. So we're burning some calories, all right? So palms are facing down, arms are nice and straight. Push it to the side, back to the other side. Boom, boom. Keep that going for 20 seconds. Athletic stance. If you want, you can come all the way up. Recenter, refocus, and it gives you a little bit more of a squat here. And up. All right, so we got 20 seconds there. 10 seconds rest, of course, get it even down the other side. From here. Let's just put a big plan. I'm pivoting on this, this back leg right here. Arms just straight. So that was the cables. Coming right back with the medicine ball. All right, so now we're gonna be using the medicine ball. Got a medicine ball with handles here. If you have one without handles, maybe some of these exercises you might need to change. But uh, if you got one with handles, it's a great way to do this. Otherwise, you can substitute a kettlebell, uh, since that's, that has handles as well. It moves somewhat similarly to this medicine ball, but a little bit different. But the point is, if you gotta make adjustments, you gotta make adjustments. But uh, if you have a, have a metal ball with, with handles, it's a great way to use it, all right? So, first we're gonna do our rainbows, all right? And uh, you can do this with either handles or no handles again. But uh, it's a great exercise, it really works the core, gets the legs, most importantly, total body, right? That's what we're going with with all these Tabatas. So we're starting at the foot, keep those arms straight, we're gonna go all the way up and over. Keep the arms straight, because that right there is what's challenging the core. All right? Don't let the ball rest on the ground, make those legs hold it up. All, right? all the way through, all the way up. Also get a little anti-rotation in there. Okay, 20 seconds, take my 10 seconds of rest, I'm gonna go with swings. Try to push this ball as far behind me as I can. You can do these two-handed, like so, or one-handed, like you would with a kettlebell. And the power's coming from the hips. So it's not the shoulders, but it's coming from the hips. So if you do it one-handed, you can switch like that, which can help you prepare the hand-eye coordination for a kettlebell one-arm swing. Or you can do one set with the left hand, Come back around to the second set, do it with the right hand. Take your 10 seconds of rest, go squat to press. Same deal, squat, press, like so. Try to get down, go as you can in that squat. You can also go one arm, almost like a clean to press here. All right, we're gonna switch that. Up. So once you get the basics, you can start to get a little fancy. The point is you wanna do something you can move for 20 seconds of work and get quality reps in, okay? Last but not least, we're gonna go with the snatch. It's gonna be very different from the kettlebell snatch because it's not quite the same motion here because the ball's a little bit bigger than the bell, but again, it can kind of prepare you for that motion. So we're starting here on the ground, drive up through that elbow, lock the arm out at the top, open the hands. So let your hand move around the medicine ball just like it would the kettlebell. Of course, again, it's a little bit different, so it kind of helps you out because you're really not going to bang your wrist too much. And those you're going to want to do one side for 20 seconds and the other side for 20 seconds. Getting a little hinge at the hips, right? So push it forward with the hips, driving that ball up. Lead through, lock it out. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, start over uh, from the top. And uh, after that, you got four minutes of fun. So you can do any of those workouts put them all together, mix and match them, however you want to do it. Point is, it's a great workout, it's a lot of fun, it's very effective. All right, see you next week.